is Veterans Day, and on this Veterans Day, President-elect Joe Biden and his team are planning the tradi tra transition rather, to the White House. However, resistance from the Trump administration is not making the process easy. The president still has not accepted the election results. Skylar Henry is at the White House with more. President Trump commemorated Veterans Day, laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. While President-elect Joe Biden took time out from working on the transition to attend a ceremony in Philadelphia. In their memory, and all those others who did not come home. President Trump is still not recognizing Mr. Biden as the president-elect. The Trump campaign has filed a new lawsuit in Michigan with 234 pages of affidavits claiming voting irregularities. And Georgia's Secretary of State announced a full-hand recount of every vote to ensure the validity of the results. This will help build confidence. It will be an audit, a recount, and a recanvas all at once. President Trump's refusal to accept the outcome of the election means President-elect Joe Biden is not receiving daily intelligence briefings incoming presidents typically receive. Access to classified information is, uh, is useful, uh, but I'm not in a position to make any decisions on those issues anyway. There's one, as I said, one president at a time. Mr. Biden received calls from world leaders Tuesday, including British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Emmanuel Macron. I'm ready to congratulate you. However, CBS News has confirmed the State Department is not assisting with those calls. And Secretary of State Mike Pompeo suggested Tuesday there may not be a Biden administration. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. President-elect Biden said Republicans will eventually accept his presidency. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.